We are live. Let's see. Let's see. Yes, we are live. Awesome. Hello, Happy Monday. Welcome back to another Magnet Monday. Thank you for joining us. If you are new here, we do a, this live session every Monday at one and we're happy to have you. Hi, Erica. How are you? Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Actually, good afternoon. Oh, my God. It's already one o'clock. <laughs> what am I talking about? <laughs> Good. Magnet Monday. <laughs> yes, another Magnet Monday. Um, good afternoon, everyone. We're super excited today um, because we have a really, a really good friend of mine, uh, Puerto Rican Cubana, Rebecca Soto from the Legacy Group. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Thanks for having me on today. I'm, uh, I'm Absolutely. Our here. pleasure. Thank you for joining us. Absolutely. I mean, we wanted to do this um, and talk about, you know, Orlando. And I'm like, wait a minute, the best person to talk about the Orlando market is Rebecca Soto. And I know that Absolutely. whenever somebody says anything about Orlando, I'm like, okay, I have you in speak down. Let me, let me send the information yeah. to Rebecca. So, which is great. <laughs> Thank yes. you for joining us today. We really appreciate it. Oh, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. <laughs> Erica, um, you know, Erica knows you for a long time, and I have had the pleasure to meet you before. But for our audience, you know, that doesn't know you well, maybe, or people that are just new joining in the industry, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? We want to get to know you. Absolutely. So I am Rebecca Soto, and I am... Uh, co-founder of the Soto Legacy Group. We are with EXP. I work together with my husband, my other better half. And um, together we have been in the industry 14 years here in Orlando. And we started, um, we started together right at that time and immediately about four years later opened up our own brokerage. So we had an independent brokerage for about nine years, right before shifting and moving into EXP. We serve both the Hispanic market and all others as well, and uh, working mostly with residential and some commercial as well. Mm -hmm. Wonderful, that's great. And, um, you know, I know that I met you uh, through an organization that we mutually uh, belong to, which is NAREP, the National Association of Hispanic Real Estate Professionals. Um, and I love that organization because it allowed me to build friendship all over the world. Um, and that's one of the reasons why I'm a member. And, and the second one is because, you know, I'm, I'm Hispanic. So we're always Latino. We need to communicate and coordinate with each other, which I, I love. Um, so you've been in the business for 14 years. Talk to me about, let us know, for those of you who do not know you, like Dee said before, um, what have you been doing with your team? during this pandemic um you know i know that it's, it's been a difficult time right now but no matter what's going on you continue being successful and you continue pushing and for those of you who are listening share share a little bit of that story and what you've been doing so far okay sure uh, i'd love to and i want to go back because you talked about NAREP and um, NAREP has been such a wonderful organization that I've been part of. I got to meet a lot of beautiful people like you all and um, but the truth is before NAREP I had no network and I didn't understand the power of a network mm -hmm. and you know when they say that that your network is your net worth that is the truth and so since then I have like I, 10x, I want to say 10x my network because I know so many agents from all over the United States and so many opportunities have opened up to me. And of course, one of them being this, this uh, transition into EXP where we have now began to grow our team. And so we're still in the beginning stages of, of growing this team, but we do have a team here locally in Orlando. We have two in Fort Myers and uh, a few others that we're opening up in New York and, and all over. <laughs> uh, nice. So we're just slowly working at all of that you know one step at a time and uh, how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so locally our team here uh it, we have about 10 that we're working with closely and um it's it's been one where we've taken a lot of new agents and we're working with them from the from the start so mentoring them training them and now getting them into lead conversion and things like that that's amazing. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's really good. And I'm glad that, you know, that you mentioned 
um, you know, the teamwork and all of that and that you mentor them. And I think that's exactly what keeps them engaged and motivated to keep going, even though, you know, everything that's going on, like Erica said, what has changed for you guys? Like what exactly, what are the changes that you have applied to your company and team wise that has pushed you guys go, you know, forward during this pandemic? So, um, you know, I think just like uh, most everyone else, we've gone virtually for sure. Yeah. And so leading that team took the shape of from meeting, you know, in our in our office to now meeting via Zoom. Um, mm-hmm. I think it's been a great advantage because it's, you know, since everyone has had a different situation, whether you have the kids now at home and mm-hmm. things like that, it affords the ability to be able to be present and not have to worry about who's taking care of the kids, right? So um, it's it's been huge. Plus, we are able to jump on more frequently and be able to share screens and things like that to be able to help them on in the onboarding process and things like that. So that has been very helpful uh, with the clients. We are showing property virtually. So same concept. We're jumping on a Zoom. We're sharing our screen. You're showing your the, the properties that are in the MLS. And, um, and so getting the process started via Zoom first um, and phone calls. And then of course, once the client is ready, we are going out and showing property since we, we are able to do that of course, keeping all those CDC guidelines in hand, you know, the masks and gloves and uh, hand sanitizer, things like that and keeping distance. Um, we've certainly still been able to show property and be able to continue selling as we have with really no, no drop in production. I would say it's, it's certainly increased if anything. So um, it's incredible because I think we've had a lot of clients specifically coming from the North and uh, just wanting to have extra space. That's what people have come to Orlando for is to have, you know, that home with a big yard, maybe a pool and, um, and be able to enjoy the weather and not be cooped up in a small apartment. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. That's amazing. And I know Dee uh, lives in Orlando. Um, you know, she's she's actually visiting today here in Miami, but she oh. definitely lives in Orlando. So, yeah. you know, which is great. And every time I go to Orlando and I'm like, Dee, I love your house. I love the pool. I love, you yeah. know, you have so much space. And like you say, I'm in a condo, you know, it's co- completely different. Um, and obviously there's a lot of uh, price difference between Miami and Orlando. So um, I know that you work in the Orlando market and your production has been amazing. Like you mentioned before, you know, you haven't stopped, you continue working hard. Um, You know, for those of you who do, who are in the Miami market and need to connect with you in Orlando, um, tell us how they can connect with you. And the same thing, I know you always open into mentoring other agents, mentoring, um, doesn't matter where you're at. You know, and I know you're very good at that. Share with us a little bit about how how they can contact you and and work with you. Yes, very simple. If you see there on my name, Rebecca Soto Legacy Group.com, that has all my contact information. You can jump on my calendar from there. Um, you can see a little bit about us, some videos and things. It's all available there on that link. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. And and I know that. Oh, Orlando is booming right now yeah. because uh, I went to Orlando, I would say three weeks ago, right? Yeah. Kind of like three weeks ago. And yeah. I went to visit Islanders of Adventures and it was completely packed. Yeah. So, you know, Orlando really has not stopped, which is great. Um, you know, and, and it's amazing. Uh, D, anything else that you want to ask, Rebecca? Yeah, no. Um, so, yeah. So tell us about the difference between the Orlando market and maybe the Miami market in, in terms of like what type of, um, you know, clients you guys are handling over there and all of that and how the process is different. Because a lot of people, like Erica said, they live, you know, in Miami because it's Miami. A lot of people don't think uh, outside of big cities, you know what I'm saying? But Orlando is beautiful. I love it. Um, I lived in Miami for five years, almost six, and just moved to Orlando two years ago. And I absolutely love it. I don't think I would come back just because of what you said, like the, you know, the space and and the quality life is totally different. Um, I mean, I have the parks and I I can go out. I have the restaurants if I want, but also I have like that, that peace and quiet and Mm -hmm. space that we all want. Like Erica said, you know, the pool, the commodities and all of that. So can you tell us a little bit so that you know, you can open people's minds to a different market because a lot of the times they have a budget 
to maybe purchase a home and whatnot, but it may not be the right size for them, but that's the, their only budget. So can you tell us a little bit more about, you know, the benefits of maybe, you know, thinking outside of the box and looking into the Orlando market? Okay. Well, um, you know, I think that I'm thinking of the two different markets. I love Miami. You guys have the greatest <laughs> restaurants and nightlife and, um, and some really beautiful homes, but your prices are definitely a lot higher. And so sometimes could be a bit of a struggle for families who want to have a great home or a lot of space. They might be confined to a smaller space because of their budget. So Florida, Florida, Orlando offers a little bit of a lower price point where you can still have a great home, a lot of backyard space. And, um, you know, we are definitely the next, I think, greatest city here in Florida. Yeah. <laughs> Don't tell Tampa. But anyways, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but we are, we, I think, are like the attraction capital. So we do have a yeah. lot of, you know, we have Disney and SeaWorld and Universal Studios, and they offer a lot of work as well. So mm -hmm. it makes it very easy for, for someone to have a, a job, anything entry level. Uh, of course, COVID has kind of changed that a little mm -hmm. bit too, mm -hmm. but we do still have a lot of jobs that are that are available to family that they can come and be able to afford now to live in Orlando itself is is a little bit of a higher price point so we do have a lot of new construction that is coming up that are in the lower price point just a little bit outside of Orlando so when you think of relocating into Orlando getting a really great low price new home you can still get something I would say starting in like the 200s but in the in the Davenport to Haines City area, which is just outside of Orlando, so you're still in great proximity. Um, you're you're in great proximity of some major highways like I four or four seventeen, which will get you anywhere. You can get to just about anywhere in Orlando within about twenty five minutes, uh, yeah. or even just being outside of Orlando, coming back in within just 25 minutes and we're only 40 minutes from the beaches. So like a lot of people start thinking, well, right. you know, do I want right. to be in the middle of Florida? I am so right. far from the beaches, just 40 minutes away from the nearest beach. So whether it's Daytona or Coco, you know, we, we have them very close by. And then of course it's only an hour and a half if you wanted to go out to like Clearwater. So it's, yeah. it's a short drive. And all the beautiful drive. springs as well. And it's very family oriented. Um, you know, we are uh, like an hour away, probably from a beautiful spring as well. So, you know, it's just that I, people, like you said, oftentimes think like, oh, well, it's central Florida. I don't know if I want to get in the middle of it, but the, it's just like the market is different. It's more family based and mm -hmm. definitely um, more budget friendly and all of that. And it's a great quality of life. I absolutely and it's love a it. Melting pot of cultures. There are many yes. cultures here in Orlando yeah. and of course a vibrant Latino culture as well. <laughs> <laughs> That's important. That's important. Um, you know, and, and the good thing is that for example, I'm in Miami and you know, South Florida, they always want to know where to invest next. And I know a lot of South Floridians, that's where they're investing. They're investing in Orlando, uh, maybe Tampa and other areas, but Orlando is the key because you can always Airbnb those condos or those houses. Mm -hmm. So uh, for those of you who are listening, you know, Rebecca said it's extremely good opportunity right now to buy. So reach out to her um, in Orlando market if you want to invest and maybe, you know, you don't have the capital and you want to live in Miami, but you want to have a property in Orlando to invest. It's a great market. I haven't been to the beach. Dee, you got to take me to the beach in Orlando. Yes, <laughs> Whenever you want. <laughs> and, you know, you, you mentioned the Airbnb market. And we have, because maybe a, a slight difference also, we have smaller areas that are non-HOA. So you want to get connected with a realtor, a professional, somebody who knows the zoning laws, because not every home you can Airbnb. So you definitely want to talk to a professional before you make that investment, because um, you'll be unpleasantly surprised when you can't Airbnb the property. So definitely yes. find someone that can guide you through Absolutely. that process. Absolutely. And, um, but we do have a lot of vacation homes. So if it's for a second home, a vacation home, there's so many and different price points. Uh, you could go really luxurious or just have something that's a little bit more simpler, but they always are in demand, especially now during COVID, you don't know how many people 
from the north again who came down yeah. because they were pretty much stuck and if you're going to be stuck why yes. not be stuck here in florida exactly. right? <laughs> absolutely you made I a really good point that. yeah i'm glad that you mentioned that because a lot of people um you know they maybe don't want to move to orlando but they can definitely invest and like sure. a vacation home or maybe a property that they can airbnb because the parks are there to be honest I think that Orlando is one, uh, one of the most visited cities here. And I don't know, I just, it's always packed. The, the, the parks itself, they yeah. have probably like 30 to 40,000 people a day, yeah. each one. So it's like, there's a lot of traffic. And the measures yeah. that they've taken to keep you safe, I think is important because when you start thinking of large groups like that, people start getting nervous. But the truth is they really have been they uh, have. doing their best to make sure that everybody's mm -hmm. masked up and, yeah. and taking the precautions that, so that we don't spread diseases. Even when I go into like, let's say a Target, there's, there is someone there to give you mm -hmm. the cart that they mm -hmm. just wiped down. Yeah. So, you know, there's a lot of extra force there to help keep us, you know, safe, you know. Absolutely. Yeah. When, when I went to Islands of Adventures, everyone was asking me, oh my God, was it safe? I mean, it was extremely hot. I'm not going to lie to you. I felt like I was in a sauna, but I think that's Florida in general in the summer, summer. you know? Yeah. <laughs> but besides that, everyone was extremely clean, wore a mask. I mean, the lines were not as, as bad. I would say 15, 20 minutes max or 30 minutes max in a ride. I mean, everything is super clean. They kept the distance. So it, it is safe. Um, just, you know, you need to be protective and, and use your, your gadgets, you know, your hand sanitizer, your mask all the time. But it was completely safe. Um, and, and I love Orlando. I think it's, it's becoming my second home now. Eventually, I'm definitely going to invest in Orlando uh, because it's becoming my second home. Um, Rebecca, give us a tip for everyone that's listening. I know you're very successful. Um, you're committed. You're, you, your mindset is, is, is intact all the time. You have your goals. You know what you want. Um, you know, I know you're not perfect, but, you know, <laughs> you're always you always have your goals and you meet them, you know, give us a tip on for those agents or brokers who are listening right now um, that you're doing great in this pandemic, a tip on how to continue pushing your business and continue grinding no matter what's going on in this pandemic. Well, I think you said it best right there is just being consistent, right? So, um, you know, I, I do my best to meet my goals, but if I didn't have any goals, then I would be aimlessly shooting, right. shooting whatever comes up, right? Mm -hmm. So I think more importantly is to have those goals that are established, decide how you're going to reach that goal, and then just be consistent, then stay, stay the, the, um, what is it, stay, stay, stay in, in, in the zone, because is practice makes perfect. So you, mm -hmm. from every little yeah. mistake that we might have made, I just learned how to do it better the next time. So make sure exactly. that you're paying attention to what you're doing. If there's something that needs to be refined or changed, or you know, just and then sometimes you're just you're doing all the right things. You just have to keep doing more of it, right? So it sometimes it's just a numbers game. Not everybody's going to be ready, right? So you're just there to keep helping and work with those who are ready. And if that person's not ready, move on to the next one and keep doing that until you, until you establish your clients. Yeah. So exactly. Absolutely. But like you said, it's a, it's an, like you said, it's a numbers game and mm -hmm. we shouldn't get discouraged just because, you know, we uh, encounter a no, it's mm -hmm. going to be a yes uh, somewhere mm -hmm. else, like you said. So I think that that's key consistency and mm -hmm. perseverance. So thank you so much for sharing that with us. Um, Eric, I don't know if you have anything else to ask her but i think that you know we have yeah. had the pleasure of having you on today i know thank a lot you of people so are much reaching out to you. you and guys orlando is where it's at you can either to live or invest don't think just if you have the opportunity to invest and increase your you know your earnings and all of that like you can definitely think about orlando orlando i don't i think it's a city that's never gonna stop because, you know, we have, it's very family based and that, and that says a lot about the community in Orlando, what you guys were talking about, you know, the safety and all of that. Our numbers have not, have basically have been decreasing instead of increasing. And like um, Rebecca was saying, it speaks a lot about the community and the measures that are being um, taken into consideration and all of that. So thank I you so much. I can add one more thing. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Is okay. Is that um, in this in this new era, 
that most people are even working virtually, it's very easy to live anywhere that you want. So why exactly. not where you exactly. really want to be, where you're going to be comfortable, where your yeah. family is going to be comfortable. So exactly. get to a house where you have the virtual room that you can work from and your kids could have their own classroom because now the kids are all, you know, virtual, not all yeah. of them, but a good majority of them. So making yeah. sure that we all have that comfortable space that we are going to be uh, successful in. And that's to going to uh, just kind of inspire us to continue moving on every day. So I think you should definitely uh, think about, visualize where you really want to be at, pick that place and go. <laughs> absolutely. No, okay. absolutely. You can and actually uh, live for your vacation, basically. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. You can. Absolutely. And guys, you know, I, I can honestly say, um, like Orlando, it's great. And for those of you who are listening, I'm going to share this link and I'm going to share Rebecca's information because remember, even if you work in South Florida, you can still refer your customers to Rebecca and still get paid on your commissions. Um, so I'm going to share um, her information because I do that all the time. You know, in Orlando, Rebecca, please call this client or friend or family because I have a lot of people that live in Orlando, which is great. Remember, you you can sell all Florida, especially yeah. now. You just need those network key agents all over okay so i'm going to be sharing your information rebecca so people can contact you they can contact you if they want to powwow or mastermind with you because i know you're amazing at doing that again thank you so much for sharing your knowledge uh, yes. with us today we really appreciate you for being on magnet monday and i thank you for having me thank you so much it's been my pleasure Absolutely. The pleasure is ours. Guys, yes. thank you so much for um, joining us today. Watch us again next Monday at 1 p.m. And as you know, you can follow us on Instagram at Magnet Monday to stay up to date with everything that's going to happen next week and all our special guests that are coming on. And if you have any requests, you can also DM us if you think that you know of someone that can actually come onto the show and you think they have um, some information that would be of value to our audience as well. Let us know so that we can invite them and we'll see you next Monday. See you next Monday. We're excited about it. Have a good one. Bye. Have a great week.